Всем добрый день. Мы сегодня поговорим об анимации. Holidays. This is a good start for discussion of how the industry works and the economics of the industry. This is a very young, creative, dynamically evolving industry. The investments doubled over the past three years, and we expect in the coming five years seven to ten percent of growth based on only conservative outlooks, we can try to accelerate it. The first, uh, the first package of uh, tax privileges were approved uh, for the industry, which is now having the same privileges and benefits as the IT industry. And currently, we are working to have a second package of tax privileges uh, uh, now our industry is an officially registered industry, and today I learned that so, since we asked the Ministry of Culture to establish a new national uh, holiday uh, to celebrate the uh, animated cartoon uh, industry, the Ministry told me that we have to be officially registered for 15 years as an industry to have an industry day. So, but at least now we are going to have statistics separately from uh, feature films. We have developed eight professional standards for the animated movies uh, and uh, we need to now decide what specialties we need in this industry because uh, in uh, uh, feature films uh, there is only one standard while we have now eight standards but in any case this opens up new possibilities for us the pandemic very much accelerated the evolution of the media and content sphere we have now a much a bigger number of uh, 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 studios producing animated movies. Uh, and uh, first, uh, let me introduce to you our speaker, Tatiana Tsiverieva, uh, uh, editor-in-chief of the main federal, uh, national, state, international TV channel for children and young people, Carousel. We can say that, by the way, she also is a general producer of all the existing children's TV channels, and she's a producer herself of more than 20 animated series. Ivan Grinian represents uh, 
Evie Rue. Uh, he joined the company as a director general for strategy. Now he is director for content for content of Ivy Rue. From March 2021, he is deputy CEO for content, and he is in charge of development of the content uh, for cinema theaters and. Uh, uh, like uh, Tatiana Tsevart, I introduced her to you. Uh, we have also Natalia Rishkova, uh, who is Director General of Gulliver uh, Group of Companies. She works in the company since 2009, so she knows everything about the toys market. Uh, she is also an expert in children's clothes, uh, because your expertise is of importance now uh, for this. Uh, and we also have representatives of classical and new media, because new media are gaining audience, uh, stealing audience from classical media, as many would say. But this is not quite true, because we still see the same number of uh, the same audience children's audience uh, and we have children's channels uh, everywhere over the past four years only in Russia we have had eight new children's channels uh, and uh, watching content is still a very important part of children's activities uh, how about classical TV in terms of uh, children's content, considering the current realities? And uh, another question to you, Tatiana, are you not a friend of competition with the digital industry? Oh, why? We are not afraid of competition because competition is good. And we are still the main platform for all the animation uh, brands. We have a very high coverage of both the children's audience and parents' audience, and this helps us to commercialize children's brands. Uh, I've been in children's TV for 10 years, and I see how many Russian animated movies brands are growing in number, in quality. And uh, I do understand that only editorial expertise helps create really high quality animated uh, uh, movies. Uh, which appeal both to children and to parents. So you will not be able to do anything without TV, even though we do have to develop uh, digital platforms as well. And why are we sure of our future? Yes, the quality of animated brands uh, is uh, improving. And the manufacturers of children's uh, products and toys are also increasing their business uh, based on uh, the animated uh, movies trends. Uh, and uh, now we see that, uh, of course, uh, everyone wants the best time slots. They are ready to pay for them. And of course, we start a dialogue, but at the same time we preserve our policy, our editorial policy, but this is a very important commercial dialogue with our partners. But this is the way it is all around the world, not just in this country, it's quite understandable and clear-cut, and it's a very efficient model. But to be really efficient, I said that all major companies have their own brands like Lego, Hasbro and others because we have the toys, we have the animated cartoons based on these toys and vice versa. And uh, of course, uh, for the uh, white holder who does not de uh, depend on licenses, uh, of course, uh, Digital platforms uh, 
matter a lot and we also have content for senior children where you can joke, uh, where you can touch upon any topics and you do not care whether the toy will be bought or not. And in this respect, we really have a different audience uh, and we know that it's usually the smallest children that are the main fans uh, of animated movies uh, and uh, toys uh, made based on them. Of course, if you have a child of 12 to 14 years old, uh, of course they all go, go digital. Well, we would like to have a good family audience uh, watching uh, cartoons together. Why don't you think we, do, we have no channels specifically for children 12 to 14 years of age, 12 to 18 years of age, maybe? Well, you understand animation, this is toys, money, but how can you monetize something non-monetizable? Okay, but I would like to listen to the opinion of each of you. If it works, if it's monetized on online platforms, if online platforms are ready to pay, then logically it should also be monetizable in special channels. If the costs are split 50-50, or if the um, of if the revenues come from two platforms, of course the small children's role in the business is especially important. But we understand that content can be monetized, and content for children from 12 years of age to 18 can also be monetized. And I see that such kind of adult cartoons for children is quite a popular thing demanded well demanded yes of course we understand that still a tv set is the main entertainment tool in each household even though someone would say it's a tablet no a tv set is still what it used to be and uh, in the internet, you do not quite understand it the way you do when you see it on the uh, widescreen. And it still works. In our country, it still works. Thank you very much, Tatiana. And since we already started discussing the digital products uh, and services, uh, there is an audience which really watches everything digital. Uh, Evie is the biggest online uh, uh, cinema theater, oh, the market share it has is about 30%. Uh, Ivan, tell us about the role of monetization of content in your case. Since you were the first to create a children's profile, because we wanted to see how it goes, and I remember once Alek Tumanov, uh, two and a half years ago, said that opening a good children's profile started driving new adults to watch content on Ivy. Uh, yes, and you are right. I think in general the cinema theaters uh, or the video service, they uh, are part of direct uh, monetization of the trends. And uh, all in all, the uh, profit from these media rights is about 10%. In any case, this is not a majority part. Majority part. Uh, it's uh, both uh, for a subscription or transaction model can be used where you buy a unit of content separately. And if we look at this adult uh, animation, children sometimes ask their parents to get subscribed to Eevee or something else and then yes we can use it so well even though uh, we understand that uh, this is also the driver for TV uh, advertising and the role of uh, uh, 
online uh, cinema theaters. They create love for these projects. They create awareness. And this is based on their own choice. And we, I mean, uh, EV works with the parents and children's audience uh, Knowing the purpose, we have a lot of uh, brand building campaigns. Uh, we are the ones to voice the uh, main goals of the campaign. If a key project has a page on EVE, they get about 20 million views. If we talk about the focus groups and uh, children's profiles, uh, one page of content uh, in our service uh, has special uh, price and we have a special zone in Petorichka while the parents are shopping for uh, groceries, uh, kids can watch some interesting content on EVRU. Uh, so apart from direct uh, monetization, the marketing can be of more importance for the animation projects in this case. Talking about EVI, we are a very family-driven, family-oriented service. And the main author, uh, uh, half of our audience at EVI is uh, parents with children of less than 12 years old. We made an opinion poll to see which online services uh, were used. Uh, and many of them said that EV is the main platform they use, or this is the first thing that came to their mind when they wanted to go online. So we are also a the largest uh, cinema theater in uh, this uh, context. And we are really the first ones who launched a children's profile. We have more than half a million of active profiles actively consuming content. So I think that the growth, year-on-year uh, -year growth of active users is about uh, uh, this uh, and by the way we are not talking about the um, teenagers profile you know that children they like to watch the movies and cartoons from the teenagers or adult profile but actually we see that even from a year and a half uh, children use more the children's profiles because they love some uh, cartoons, some cartoons are recommended, were recommended, but this for, for them, this is some personal space. And of course, talking about the profile, uh, we have uh, uh, subscribers paying for the subscription. Thank you. And let me give the floor to our next speaker, whose children always select themselves what they want to watch. Let's talk about YouTube. Over the past few years, YouTube became a significant part of their life. The audience of YouTube in Russia is more than 80 million people every year, which is more than 50% of the population of our country. YouTube in Russia is a very dynamic community, like everywhere in the world. There are so many self-generated con uh, content. Uh, there are many developers of content having uh, more than 1 million subscribers of their own. These are usually talented authors, shooting movies, videos, interviews, and also some animated content. YouTube is of interest to parents and children. And uh, here it's difficult to say 
what happens, uh, uh, whether the children watch on their own or together with the parents. And of course, you know that children, they always try to watch YouTube of their parents. It's like Prostokvashina, Prostokvashina cartoon, which is very often viewed by parents rather than children, parents like 45, 50 and, and elder. Anna, tell me about the role of YouTube uh, for the children's audience, because I'm sure that you monitor it more than we do. And what are the opportunities for content monetization for our animation industry? Thank you very much. Thank you very much for this invitation. I'm really glad that we can communicate now in person, not in online, not through monitors. Um, uh, our audience, unfortunately, through monitors, but we've uh, been sitting in lockdown. Uh, for more than one and a half years, and uh, today we can meet in person. Just a few words about creative economy, creative industry in general. Our country has a huge potential of creative industries, and it is about uh, developing uh, games, uh, new media, new designs, and uh, in all these spheres, we see very active um, a role of Russia in the global market with uh, its animation brands. And the figure which we are um, discussing today, the digit is uh, um, playing a very important role in all those processes. The international uh, consulting company Alphabet evaluates that additional digital transformation can bring to Russian economy more than 500 billion US dollars. It means up to 25% of GDP by 2030. These are crazy figures and creative industries is the good example where digital shows its um, um, benefits and how important is it uh, Google together with if he made uh, the research of uh, contribution of digital platforms in the development of industries and the results confirm the huge importance of digital technologies and digital development not only for creation and uh, promotion and also for monetization for now creative um, uh, developers of creative products and contents uh, who are using digital technologies uh, get up to 25 of their approach percent of their approach due to digital and digital technologies are absolutely important for their business what uh, different developers claim our task is to make digital platforms popular in YouTube as the main platform for Google for creative industries with alphabet we carried out um, research showing the 72 percent of authors uh, on YouTube in Russia earn in 18 percent for 18 percent YouTube YouTube is the main source of their income. It means that the platform starts to play more and more important role for creative entrepreneurs. And 93%, vast majority, uh, claim that YouTube is very important for their businesses, for their lives, and for their income. Why YouTube plays such a role and has a huge potent, positive uh, uh, significance? This is a, a joint platform, open platform, available for everybody, no subscription needed. This is the third uh, platform in population after Yandex and Google. Juliana mentioned more than 18 million uh, people monthly use this platform. It is very easy to reach the audience, to cover the audience. And uh, separately, we have to mention YouTube expert potential. Today, we are offering to authors and uh, content creators not only the access to Russian audience, but to the huge global audience, more than 2 billion people. These are huge figures and a huge pro pro advantage of our platform. We see that Russian authors have uh, um, and 60 percent of uh, uh, views come from different from other countries at the same time uh, owing to YouTube expert becomes very easy no additional investment needed no translation needed no barriers uh, to enter different markets the audience sits in one click from you uh, what everything what the content could creator needs is a high quality product and then the platform would uh, help the author to reach the out to the audience. We have special teams, and my team, Juliana knows my team, and Ivan knows us a little bit. Our team uh, helps 
uh, big uh, content authors, partners, developing partners to enter different markets and develop in YouTube, create uh, own strategy of presence in YouTube, follow our policies in correct way. There are a lot of policies of ours in uh, children's content to develop business and improve monetization. If we specifically speak about Russian market, the Russian animation brands um, account for a big part for the small children in YouTube. And Russia, in the global picture of the world, is one of the fast growing market in the segment um, kids and family. As many of you know, creators, uh, we call creators the authors of content, can monetize it in a two ways. The direct monetization, we advertising, it's free of charge for people, but advertising for charge, or we have a subscription product, YouTube Premium, which plays a very important role for a children animation brand and uh, gains more and more percentage in the total share of uh, animation brands. Uh, just in brackets, of course, we do not collect personal data of kids uh, under 13 years of age. We don't have targeted advertising, but we do protect the interests of kids. And um, yes, all animation is suffering from, we all suffer. For animations, there are other opportunities. I already mentioned export. And we do see a number of very um, successful examples of export strategies, animation strategies. Uh, uh, in the global markets, they allow not only to develop, not only to attract audience, uh, and Ivan already mentioned that the digital platforms show the product, uh, and YouTube is uh, one of the uh, most important platform which in attracts kids and uh, provides huge opportunities for animation brands. For now, there's a unique situation there. Apart from experts, there is a uh, licenses also there are licenses and uh, owing to youtube you can build up a, a huge franchising uh, project without tv support it depends what this shows uh, there are already two brands in 2020 there were two brands established in the same year in the very beginning only for you it's booba and the cine tractor blue tractor they are top five one of top five fast-growing brands. Uh, these are brands, yes, without TV. They uh, reach these without TV um, support. Probably they were caught up by TV later. This is a very unique story, you know, and we do see it, we can see it, and uh, for sure there was always questions to YouTube about children's audience when we speak about children's content and audience. It, uh, what will you mention? It's uh, security, uh, customer experience, and we do our best to provide um, as safe as possible and as convenient as possible um, experience. We have YouTube Kids. It's a separate application where parents can uh, set up the uh, um, the age and uh, they can use it in a comfortable way. This service was launched in 2015. Just recently, we launched YouTube on YouTube new policies. We um, are trying not only to limit kids and create safe environment, but we are striving for supporting authors who create safe content. We recently launched policies due to which the uh, quality content is recommended more actively by our algorithms. And the quality is not just our experience. The quality criteria were designed by international experts, uh, proven experts with all uh, the merits, and uh, we implemented it in our policies as well. Um, of course, uh, kids' content creators, we weight, high quality content, observing our policies, and those creators and content developers who unfortunately has, uh, produce low quality content could uh, have less and less opportunities to be developed on the platform and use less functionality of our platforms to promote the, uh, their content. And um, just uh, summing up, a huge potential in Russia to develop creative industries and YouTube as a platform offers huge opportunities for authors, for creators of different content, including children content. Export potential is huge. It is open for kids' content, and we see a lot of examples. 
And uh, in Google and YouTube, we do our best to support our animation partners to develop and to uh, go to other market to attract audience and to earn more. Thank you very much. I'd like to pass the floor to Natalia Ryshkova, uh, Gulliver Group, one of the leaders of uh, children's uh, toys and goods in the Russian market is one of the top five biggest distributors and they have more than 10,000 SKU in their product line, embracing practically all goods categories for different categories for different audience. They have more than 40 brands in their portfolio, including Robocar, Poly, um, Turtles, and Russian uh, brands also. Starting from 2018, Gulliver Trade uh, House become the licensee of a number of Russian projects. For Russian animation industry, licensing sphere plays the most important role in uh, the income uh, environment. It is very important to listen to your experience. You do know what kind of toys uh, are of demand and what are the sales drivers. The experience is absolutely different. Please uh, share with us what is your specific working with Russian animation brands, uh, what is the place of Russian brands in your portfolio of your company and what should happen for you to expand this portfolio? Thank you, Juliana, for your introduction. I have um, uh, some cheat sheet here. I'm going to use it. Sorry for that. Wonderful that this dialogue uh, is uh, so active and it is so well organized. And I have uh, to support uh, previous speakers. Uh, we do believe in both in online and TV. Please do not uh, quarrel. Uh, this is the story is continuing like we discuss offline, online. The same we can uh, say about content and TV. I uh, truly believe in a hybrid model. We should know how to manage both and how to make it profitable for us, for our audience and viewers and for our customers. I must say that for the current moment, we mark a very active and the wonderful dialogue which happens between studios and uh, toy producers. And uh, the pioneers here uh, are Patrol Fairy Tale Park and uh, Tatiana representing his, this project here and her team. We were in active contact with the uh, guys in order to understand what our uh, customer needs, uh, what uh, kids want to play with, because this is one of the key criteria which are very important to make uh, successful not only the cartoon but the licensing product which we later meet in the sh on the shelves of the um, kids stores. We should pr develop accessories uh, of uh, main characters, uh, we have to provide the uh, availability of friends. Uh, and uh, the more friends, the better. Uh, all accessories, uh, haircuts, uh, clothing, it is all important. And the animation studios already understand that in the very beginning, when they just have an idea to create uh, a project, it is advisable to think how it, it will be implemented in the real life. This is a very good trend and we really want to develop it as much as possible because when there is a dialogue there's a good cool result. What else, what uh, other trend uh, can we see? Of course it's competition. Just a few years ago when we began this story with the fairy tale patrol there were not so many projects of uh, this kind um, a project at that time if it is a studio it was uh, very brilliant and vivid and uh, interesting now we do see a lot of proposals to us as uh, producers on one hand it is interesting on the other hand it is very complicated there are a lot of creative people now we are people more from the ground uh, more practical uh, type people in the experts but nevertheless, we can um, be um, apt to emotions, especially when it is about kids. We uh, like the appearance, we like people who create it, and when they are really committed to their products, when they do love their job, we also want to be involved and we want to share with them this energy stream and to get as much as possible pleasure of it. Oh, but unfortunately, we don't have enough resources and uh, opportunities and platform for everything. You're absolutely right. 
Да, в этом смысле Well, yes, we are uh, the after the um, uh, holidays, uh, you just uh, turn on the TV and what, what comes next, and the TV will show you the trend, and the competition is growing, uh, and uh, it uh, places certain responsibility on us to uh, select proper products. In this regard, we in our company, we selected a, an algorithm for rating the projects we are about to enter, or the projects which we want to leave for later. It is very important to have a proper team, proper studio, a number of series, episodes, uh, there are a number of criteria which would influence our decision. Without this algorithm, our work wouldn't be possible because there are a lot of things there. How many master licenses you could uh, take in principle? Uh, we uh, took two high-quality projects a year, including foreign or ru Russian. It, there's no difference, you know, it doesn't matter. But the foreign ones come normally with uh, huge support, with some uh, uh, result or some... No, I wouldn't say so. Foreign projects which enter Russia, they are normally not very well known. The companies come to Russia, which uh, were not so successful in the global arena. And so anyway, when we are entering a project, if uh, we develop it in a good quality, if we design an assortment, the marketing plan and the marketing campaign, working with the studio, it means a huge piece of work. This is an important thing I wanted to mention separately. When we are entering a project, when we're about to start investing, the payback of the project depends strongly from the territory. There are projects which break even in Russia, and I repeat once again, very important, very successful example of uh, fairy tale patrol, and uh, the sub team, team support is really important. But nevertheless, when we are calculating financial model and we are business, we our, have to earn money, we understand that the profitability and the payback in Russia is uh, is a challenging thing. Um, the sales in Russia sometimes not enough to um, come uh, the project to the payback stage. The global approach is very important for us. I think that we are in the very beginning of the journey. We, our partners, future partners, we try to develop our competences from the point of view of international sales. And here we can find the symbiosis, the synergy. It is very important. We, as uh, producers and distributors of toys, we are ready to find agents to sell products, but uh, there's a question for media distribution and uh, rotation, turnover in the market. It is important. Uh, you work, uh, some work is done, but we need to do more. I don't know many projects of that kind, uh, and uh, we really want that to have uh, one more project this year in our life and in the life of our distinguished partners who are today here in this room. This is a growth point for all of us. I think that generally speaking, apart from YouTube, it would be relevant for everyone else. I don't know about EV, but for all producers, animation producers, it's very relevant. We do understand that uh, we can't do without international sales. We are not able to create new projects and monetization only in Russia. is not enough uh, for high-cost uh, 3D project, especially in the in Soyuz mode film. We put a plan in our strategy in the next five years to increase the our international sales from 1% 
10% to 15%. This is very ambitious. It means 15-fold growth. But we understand that nothing would work without it. In terms of what we do in licensing, we must say that with Irina Masso, who is our executive director of our nation studio, we've been designing for two years the question with the ministries and agencies, the Ministry of Culture, Ministry of uh, um, Industry, to subsidize royalty payments for Russian animation brands uh, when buying a license by Russian producers of uh, Russian uh, uh, kids. Goods. We want to help you for the state to subsidize you. Ministry of Culture helps us uh, to provide proper arguments in order to be able that the state subsidizes your licenses for the next five years. In this case, you'll have more willingness and more opportunities to uh, to develop animation projects, and it will be less risky for you to enter those projects. We are really interested in that. We launched this work two years ago. It was put on hold for some period. Last year, we included it once again as an initiative in the program which we designed for social economic development till 2030. The only thing is is to find the budget for it and how it's going to be organized. On top of that, uh, we, uh, every one of us makes a lot of efforts to enter international markets, and YouTube offers its support. I'm sure studios uh, in Vigitarka are doing it, and we will continue this activity and do a lot of work here. We have a minute and a half left, uh, so let me very briefly ask each of you a question about your plans uh, for investing in uh, animated productions, VGTRK, uh, but let's start with Tatiana. For us, it's a key, a key area of interest so we want to continue collaboration with our partners and we are very grateful to them for trusting our projects it's uh, Oliver uh, which trusts us very much we create exclusive content we make money to invest it back in animated uh, creations uh, and of course talking about uh, conquering the international market so yes that's this is a good thing and this is a good time for thinking about it and I'm very glad that we are doing it together. Yes, I fully agree that first we have to achieve some parity with the international animated movies market and then maybe try to go further. Uh, we are planning to invest uh, uh, to continue investment, no less than uh, five to ten major investments to be made in the uh, coming uh, 12 to 18 months. Uh, and we want to have a contest of ideas to choose the best ideas. Uh, and we'll continue investing and investing. Are you planning to invest uh, in animation in the framework of children's YouTube? We are going in a little bit different way, but not direct investment in content production. Natalia, what about you? Have you thought about investing in the content? You know, every time you invest in the content, you invest in the product itself. Tatiana said that you know very well which toys are best sold. We think we are strong in what we do, and it's good the, when you have a strong partner who's strong in what they do. So it's, it's a synergy. It's a perfect synergy. Thank you very much. We made it very well on time. Thank you very much for an interesting chat, and thanks to the GUIDAR Forum to have brought up the topic of animation in the framework of the GUIDAR Forum. Thank you.